Hello UKSTL friends. This has been a fun assignment to do. Uh, I really enjoy reading blogs and I look forward to seeing some of the blogs that uh, all of you share uh, to add to my reader. So speaking of uh, my reader, I just use Google Reader. I don't have it organized in any particular fashion. I just have it all in one big list. That seems to work for me right now. So someday I'll put it in into folders, make it more organized, but uh, that's on my someday to-do list. The first blog I wanted to share with you was uh, Metanoia from Ryan Bertag. Ryan is a, a school tech coordinator for a, a school district, and uh, he writes a lot about uh, how his district is, is using different educational technology tools uh, to support students. And uh, then he also kind of gets philosophical with some of the posts that he shares, and uh, that happens to be this post in particular when he's thinking uh, talking about magical thinking and you know are we giving kids opportunities to be creative and innovative and uh, my comment on this was that uh, too frequently no we don't uh, just because of our traditional school schedules we don't always make time and uh, allow for kids uh, allow kids the opportunity uh, to be creative and be innovative and as school leaders we need to do a better job and you know adv advocate for that uh, resource of time which is so important Doug Johnson is, uh, Kate had also mentioned uh, the Blue Skunk blog, and I really like it. Uh, Doug Johnson is a tech media uh, director for a school district in Mankato, Minnesota. And what I really enjoy about uh, Doug's blog is that he frequently will write about uh, how to be a good advocate, how to be influential, how to be political in a positive sense to make sure that uh, you have the right resources for your students and for your teachers, uh, you know, working with your stakeholders, but then also working with administrators and your school board in your district to, to get the right things in place to help all of your students and staff. This particular post, he is uh, writing about how students sometimes use technology to cheat. And uh, my comment uh, to Doug is that uh, if we give kids meaningful projects and meaningful assignments and allow them to be collaborative with one another, you know, the chances are that, you know, that won't happen. You know, the, the cheating will be less and less. And, you know, I'm certainly this isn't in disagreement with anything Doug says. You know, he, he makes the same points um, that, hey, let's give kids good, real, interesting work and, uh, you know, have it be something that really will help them instead of just busy work that they might want to cheat on. Brad Saren is a superintendent, uh, I should say Dr. Brad Saren, he is a superintendent uh, in the Cashton, Wisconsin School District, uh, which, is about an, which is about an hour down the road from me. And uh, Brad's blog is really fun and informative to read. He writes a lot about uh, the, the great things that they have going in Cashton. It's a rural district and they use technology in a way uh, you know, to really give their students an advantage. Uh, this particular post, uh, Brad talks about how technology can be an equalizer for students of different economic backgrounds, but also it can help uh, actually widen uh, the achievement gap. Uh, because some kids will go home and they won't have the same opportunities and the same access to technology that they do at school. Hack Education is a blog from Audrey Waters. Uh, Audrey is a, a technology journalist and she writes a lot about uh, corporate, uh, the, the corporate world of education and, and a lot of the tools that the business world is, is bringing into education. Certainly there is money to be made in ed tech and uh, nothing wrong with that at all. And it's a topic I find really, really fascinating, and I'm curious to see where you know this continues to go, uh, because there are a lot of fantastic, creative, innovative uh, minds in the world of business, and to see them use their talents uh, to to give us tools to help us as uh, you know we prepare kids, you know, for their lives, present and future. Um, it's just it's fun to read, you know, all the, what all the different companies are up to and the and the tools that they're providing. TeacherCast is uh, a blog from uh, Jeff Bradbury. He's an educator on the East Coast, and this is a composite blog where he's taking posts uh, from different sites, and then also people write, you know, here at the site, uh, sharing all of the different ways uh, that they use technology uh, to how they use it in their classroom. So you get really practical information here uh, about how teachers and uh, other ed educators are using specific technology tools. You know what they're doing, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. One of uh, the prompts for this assignment was, uh, you know, what can you say about making posts uh, meaningful to the readers? And as I started my blog, here's here's one of the posts I had. Um, it, and as I first got going, I, I wondered, okay, how am I going to appeal to an audience? You know, who's even going to want to read this thing? But then I came to the realization that, you know, if I write things that are meaningful to me, that, that's probably most important, you know, because uh, blogging is a very reflective practice. I think lots of educators should be involved in. Um, 
so if, I, if I'm writing things, you know, that, that really help me deepen my own understanding, that that's a very positive thing. And then, you know, as I do that, you know, if other people, you know, are able to, to tap into what I share, you know, which spurs their own thinking, and then, you know, they might share a resource or a comment back, uh, you know, it's it's beneficial for the for the writer and the reader. Um, I, some of the blogs I read, it, 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 I think people are really trying to push out a lot of content, and uh, it, sometimes it's it's very evident that they really couldn't think about anything to write that day, and you know the, some of the posts are kind of shallow. Um, you know, I, I'm not a daily blogger kind of person. You know, if I, I see a, a resource or a tool that I want to share, um, you know that that's that's what I'll write about. Um, it, and I like the comments, uh, you know, especially when they challenge your thinking. This particular post, I shared my vision for school technology leadership and one of the com uh, uh, comment I received from Brad Saren uh, who I mentioned earlier you know he gave me a compliment but then he challenged me a little bit and said okay okay so you, you have a vision for school technology leadership but really if you're doing your job right as a school leader you know will that vision look any different from you know just being a good school leader uh, and which I think is a great point to make uh, you know technology is is one of the tools an important tool that we use to uh, for, for the benefit of, of all of our students and our stakeholders so uh, you know writing writing a blog got me thinking about maybe that's something we would want to do as a cohort uh, reading through the different discussion threads in canvas uh, lots of great ideas are shared there and if we were to you know allow that uh, to go out to a wider audience that would be beneficial for us because I think we, we would you know maybe get some more comments um, and some challenges and some confirmations uh, you know so certainly we're preparing our, ourselves to be you know better school leaders but all of us are in a school leadership capacity right now so it might be something we would want to consider well thanks for checking this out uh, hopefully you found some resources that are helpful to you and uh, I look forward to seeing the ones that you have to share as well thanks